We hear all the time how our customers need a printer that can produce consistent color. It could be because they have a repeat jobs that need to match what the client received the first time, or because they have a large job like wallpaper, murals, vehicle wraps. Inconsistent color is especially noticeable on jobs where you have to do the tiling because you see the panels right next to each other. We put our Epson R5070 to the test and I'm going to show you how it held up. To test the color consistency on our Epson R5070 printer, we printed the same image weekly for four weeks. I'm going to use Epson's new spectrophotometer to measure the difference from week to week. The SD10 is really easy to use. It connects through Bluetooth through your phone or device so you can log color measurements. It's also perfect to use for measuring Delta E, which in the world of color is just a quantified difference between two colors. When we're looking at Delta E, anything less than two is not perceptible by the average human eye. A measurement between two and three is just barely noticeable if you are trained and really studying them because it's not something you will see unless you're really, really looking for it. Anything with a measurement greater than three is perceptible at just a glance. So we definitely want to avoid that. So I have the dated sheets here in front of me, one from each week, and I'm going to pick a color patch and see if we get a difference. With this SD10, we'll simply measure the first color to get a reading and then select color measure to see the Delta E. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start by measuring the first panel and we're gonna use the plus sign on the left side of the screen and just select by measuring color. Then we're gonna go to the next panel. Try to get in the same spot as you did on the first one, just for accuracy. And we're gonna use the plus sign on the right side of the screen and say by measuring color to see the difference. So that's less than one delta E, that's really good. Then we'll go to the third panel and do the same thing using the right side. Again, less than one. And we'll go to the last week, which would be the fourth week we did. And just do it one more time. So that one was a little bit more. Could have been because I wasn't in the exact same spot, but it's still not something that would be perceptible to the human eye. So super consistent across all four weeks. So there's our results. Over a four week period, running the same print each time, we saw less than two Delta E difference overall. If achieving consistent color is something that is frustrating to you now, or you know it will be important for your work, give us a call and ask to speak with a sales rep about the Epson R5070. If you found this video helpful, give your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.